Craig Mills. Mira and standing shop. Anything possible here? Name is Jul. I am from Turkey. Not the gobble gobble turkey. Jul has been working at Mirin's tailoring shop for 30 years. He came over from Turkey to reunite with his sister and brother-in-law in 1981, and after they both passed away, Jul took over the business. I take over the business, but I mean, what can I do? I'm just myself. I am trying to catching up to look. Time to time I work late. Luckily, tailoring was not as foreign to him as the English language. His father owned a tailoring shop in Turkey. My father was tailoring in Turkey. The house we've been living in it. Upstairs was home. We've been living in it. Mm -hmm. Downstairs, store like this, my father was living. So kids are playing outside. I was playing in this store. Mm -hmm. Even if his childhood sounds undesirable by our standards, Jules' hard work as a child and his apprenticeship with his father helped to secure his success in the United States. Jules' English is impressive after 30 years of practice. He described how he learned English in turtle steps and struggled with making mistakes amongst taking other classes at Alamance Community College to earn his GED. When we asked him how he learned English, he responded in a distinctly Jewel manner. Did you watch Tarzan movies? Mm -hmm. Okay, Jane teaching you Tarzan. Uh -huh. Me, Jane, you Tarzan. <laughs> and here Tarzan take over. Me, Jane, you Tarzan. <laughs> My English was like that. <laughs> then I came here first. But the hardest part of coming to the United States was not learning English, acclimating himself to an unfamiliar culture, or continuing a small business in Burlington. The hardest hard time was leaving my father over there by himself. He sacrificed himself for me. He said, go. Don't think about me, just go, he said so. If I'm dying, don't bury me in this country. They uh, break my cross. Jewel didn't know that soon after he left for America, he would struggle with losing his father. He explains, I came here about year 81. I came here right. July, right? Following year, Easter Monday he passed away while he's sleeping, right? And the only thing we did over here, right, the Easter card. The letter never arrived in time, and it took until Wednesday when a postal worker went to hand deliver the letter, and no one answered the door. And uh, finally, she decided, okay, let me go to police. She reported, nobody see this guy last three days. They come home, knock the door. My father was in his bed, pajamas on it, and about this color. Jewel pointed to a worn stuffed animal that is violet in color he is sitting on top of a set of drawers. His face was weathered while telling the story of his father passing away. As if it wasn't hard enough for Jewel not to be there for his father when he passed away, he was later stirred to hear that he was not going to be able to help in the funeral plans for his father. We called the church. You know what time it is here? This is Thursday, 2 o'clock in the morning. You are too late calling me now. We already buried your father yesterday. They already buried him. You cannot come here and help nothing. It's done. It was upsetting. We've been not there. We couldn't help anything. We don't know how he died. While the death of his father and leaving Turkey was hard for Jewel, coming to America proved to be a safer alternative to living a life of religious persecution. He emphasized the hardships of living in Turkey and how the tension between the Turkish Muslim and Christian communities was unbearable. If you are not Muslim, you are born with guilt. Mm -hmm, sure. They call you infidel. Meaning godless. In the 1950s, Turkey was plagued with religious violence that touched Jules' family. After the disappearance of his uncle, Jules suspected that he was targeted and possibly murdered for being a Christian. Jules explained to us that the religious persecution in Turkey was the principal reason he came to America. 
He did not want to live in a place where his religion made him a political target. Jules certainly does not portray the difficulty of his personal history in the way he carries himself, even though his stories and the condition of the shop might suggest otherwise. Mirren's tailoring shop is filled with piles of clothing, empty spools of thread, and dust from the past 30 years, but somehow he still makes plenty of room to dance. Jules' favorite music to dance to varies between shag and polka. He has been taking classes at Alamance Community College for a few years now. While we may not have learned to dance during our time in Mirren's tailoring shop, we gained an insightful look into the immigrant experience in Burlington. We were even able to teach Jewel a few things of our own, even a new word to add to his growing vocabulary. Skidoodle, I heard ever to skidoodle. <laughs> Let's skidoodle from here.